So Sochikali is a program for young women, ages 14 through 19. We lead girls to become better women, to keep their word. I feel like just, it's a group that kind of just like leads you to become a better person. Just by the first time I went or like saw you guys or met you guys, you could just automatically tell that you guys are very open-hearted, accept everyone for how they are, um, treat everyone the same, same love. You know, we talk about uh, different things during group, uh, but definitely some of the th topics that I see a lot of the girls get more passionate about lately has been um, just like healthy relationships, communication. A lot of them have issues communicating, not just with you know, like boyfriends or girlfriends, but also communicating with their parents, communicating with their siblings, communicating with teachers. The difference between toxic, abusive, and healthy relationships. Mostly like safety of women, like how to prevent pregnancy at an early age, or we learn about our culture. Deep topics like that, I feel like they were really opening just because we don't talk about that anywhere else. So I feel like this was like a really safe place to like come to to talk about things like that that we would experience like outside of school and work. I think for right now the group is mostly young Latina women and so for a lot of them um, a lot of the issues that they're dealing with are issues that I dealt when I was in high school as well and so for a lot of them when they come up to me um, they're able to relate to me because also there's a lot of experiences that we share. She's really supportive during our group. I feel like she really influences us to pay attention as a lot she's really like willing and like passionate about what we're talking about so she wants us to focus on that and really be there at the moment she's a great mentor first of all she's like someone you can rely on in any situation you know she always has your back in anything you know she's gonna tell you things right from wrong straight up if you're going through something first person you can run to is her and she'll receive you with open arms i am also her student advocate at south high school so as her student advocate i do see her at school most days and help her out with whatever it is homework or any other issues that are going on um, and so because of that i see her a lot so we've been able to develop a really good mentor relationship She's impacted me a lot just because she helps me a lot with school and her support. I feel like she really influenced me to continue with my schooling. So until like my last year when I had applied to a scholarship and I got it, I didn't think I was going to get it. But her support with helping me actually write the essay for the scholarship and stuff, I feel like her support really like got me to where I'm at right now. Without her, her, like I wouldn't be in college, I wouldn't be here, I probably wouldn't even like continue ha like to have come to Sochicali. Ceci was a student that started Sochicali. So she was already a student when I started facilitating. She started being that example for other young ladies to follow, um, especially her senior year as she was stressed out applying for scholarships, applying for college. The other young ladies were kind of like, oh my gosh, she really is doing this. It is a really great experience to just um, even just meet new people or, or like try and make new friends because you have like that one common thing that oh, you guys go to group together. So whenever you walk in that door, they always greet you with a big smile. Always have some gossip, some something new that goes in their school. It's like a family to me. It's a community where we help each other out in any situation in or outside of school. Um, it's, ho it's girls helping each other in girl situations. I would encourage you to, to come to Sochicali just because it's a, a really nice place with people. And I feel like the support is endless. Like you're gonna get something out of it. So you're gonna get a good friend or someone to talk to. You're gonna have like a safe place to go to. You'll have a support system. If you don't have support anywhere else at home or in school, you'll have it here. Joining it, it taught me that there's a certain line to things, um, there's boundaries, and that there's many other things you can do to cope with things that you're going through. They make it seem like a home, like they feel, they make it seem like it's a place we can go to when we don't have anything else. I think if I could tell my girls in Sochikali one thing, um, it is it is that, that no matter, you know, no matter how much they might slip up or mess up or something may not go right in their lives like we'll be there you're gonna get something out of it so you're gonna get a good friend or someone to talk to you can have like a safe place to go to 
you'll have a support system if you don't have support anywhere else at home or in school you'll have it here if i could say one thing to magda i would say to keep doing what she's doing honestly because she might not know it but in reality she helps so many females in general to better themselves I see them grow over the years, and so for me, it's very moving to know that I'm able to make an impact in this young women's life and to see them grow and make sure that they, they know that they're capable of doing things. Um, it's nice to see that, okay, I do make a little, a little bit of a difference here and there. Mm -hmm.